soon be science fact. The U.S. Department of Defense has contracted engineers at the University of Maryland to build mechanical devices the size of insects. Our Tizina Gusovsky discovered what role the lifelike robots could play in our future. Robots come in all shapes and sizes, and soon they'll be as tiny as insects. But don't pull out the fly swatter just yet, because these micro air vehicles, or MAVs, are being developed to save lives on the ground. MAVs will use micro sensors and microprocessor technology to navigate and track targets to increase the warfighter's situational awareness and capacity to engage rapidly, precisely, and with minimal collateral damage. And the technology to create the MAVs is being produced right here in this lab at the University of Maryland. These students and engineers got a five-year, $10 million contract from the Army. The Department of Defense wants soldiers to be able to shift more of the battlefield burden onto insect robots and predator bees. We would like this vehicle to um, emulate the insect's ability to go through an environment without hitting obstacles. Graduate student Joseph Conroy mans the robot for now, but the goal is for the MAV to be completely independent. We use these uh, controls here only to take the vehicle off. So essentially, while the vehicle is actually going down the tunnel, the operator is doing nothing. And in order for the operator to do nothing, while the robot identifies the enemy, these guys have to study the mother of all things, nature. As a biologist, I am studying how insects fly in their environments so that we can develop strategies by which to program these autonomous flyers to be able to respond to their environment. They study everything from the motion of a honeybee to the precise flapping of wings, finally producing microchips, which function just like an insect's brain. And so the idea with insects is that they're very good at looking at motion and they're very good at responding to obstacles and things like that. Um, that's the type of stuff we want to build into these smaller vehicles. In this case, the smaller, the better. From larger insect robots to tiny predator bees, the goal is to have these micro air vehicles spread their wings and fly. That way, they can save soldiers' lives by doing their dirty work for them. And soon, this technology will crawl out of science fiction films into reality. What we'd like to do is actually dip down into this urban clutter, do surveillance on uh, targets of high value, and actually go into buildings. And for this ambitious project, it's the tiny insects that are of the highest value, transforming war into a battleground of robotic flies and bad guys. Dina Gosofsky, RT, Maryland.